Here was reaction. Trial attorney, political commentator Eric Guster. I have never believed in straight Democratic voting or straight Republican voting. You have to vote for the right candidate. But in reference to saying stay away from the Democratic Party, that is absolutely ridiculous. That is why I'm discussing Donald Trump and his racial rhetoric that he's been feeding. When you look at Hillary's vote count, 10 and a half million votes versus Trump's 8.7 million votes, she's clobbering him. Bernie Sanders has a great chance of beating Hillary Clinton, even with the socialist tag, Agreed. with his um, with his programs that he's putting forth. I don't know how he's going to necessarily for them all. If anyone is an agitator, it's Trump. <laughs> Trump is an agitator in chief. He's a bully in chief. He's really running to be the bully in chief because that's what he does to get his way. What Clinton said was extremely powerful. What she was doing was encouraging young people to make better choices. She's really trying to reach out to the African American community and get those votes. Now, Bernie, he has this young coalition of voters. Brooklyn has been buzzing. I'm in Brooklyn when I'm, I have a place in Brooklyn, and Brooklyn is totally buzzing with Bernie. The African American community is not necessarily in Hillary's pocket like so many I people. I agree think. with you. Donald Trump is winning because of this, and let me tell you why. People want someone who's going to speak their mind, people want someone who's going to say what is on their minds. Trump has ignited racial flames okay. all over said? the country. So stop, stop. He's a, he has supported people who've attacked black protesters. But not, In my hometown of yeah, Birmingham, forget about Donald this man Trump. promoted forget about Donald Trump. an African-American man John being Casey. beaten up at his, at his rally. He promoted and said he deserved yeah. it. So that and is that's what the GOP thing. stands for, yeah. because according to their front runner in the eyes yeah, of well, many for, people. Eric, you, you, but you Eric can't forget about that. Donald Trump. The, Eric, forget about Donald Trump. But look How? at people he's such the number as John. one candidate. I said he's fanning racial flames. Hillary should have made a better decision on that. And I, oh, I agree. she should have made tasteless. a better decision. Yes. But Trump is outrageous. It was, it it was tasteless. Let me finish. I would take Hillary over those two GOP front runners. Okay, you can have her. Everybody's talking about him. You have presidential candidates coming on TV to yeah. talk about Trump. I saw Bernie Sanders, his campaign rally in Birmingham, Alabama, my hometown. It was full of people. And, and I criticized Hillary because she went and did a campaign rally for the elite, where in Birmingham, he did one for the people, and the masses are the ones who actually vote. I Donald Trump came out swinging. The thing I liked about him was in his initial speech, he came out swinging, where other, other politicians, oh, I don't want to talk about someone else. He talked about everyone. This is her telling young people to make wise choices. Okay. So I don't see a problem with that. Oh, I was upset when I heard that comment. I was like, oh man, she's pandering. But in several articles in 2012, she mentioned that that is part of her travel, her bag that she carries hot sauce. She carries a basco to flavor food. So <laughs> is it she, Chipotle? Ever? It's it's Tabasco, you know. <laughs>